Hey guys, are y'all excited about hunting Easter eggs? It's a lot of fun, isn't it? But first, can we talk about why we really celebrate Easter? It's about Jesus. Jesus is God's son. He loved us so much though, he left heaven. He came and was born as a baby. He lived a perfect life, he never sinned. And then he died on a cross to pay the price for our sin. But did he stay dead? No, he rose again. And because he lives, we can live too. That's why we celebrate Easter. But even while we hunt Easter eggs, it can remind us of why we're really celebrating. I have a basket full of colorful eggs. They're all different colors. They're different sizes. Some are big and some are little bitty, but they're all Easter eggs. We're all different. We're different sizes, we're different colors, we're different, but God has made each one of us special and unique, and he loves us just the way we are. And when you go hunt Easter eggs, are you excited because you like to just find colorful eggs? Oh, there's surprises in the eggs. I wonder what's in my eggs. Let's look. Are you ready? It's empty. That reminds me how my life was before Jesus became my Lord and Savior. My life was empty. It was missing something and I couldn't find it anywhere else. I didn't have purpose. I didn't have peace. I didn't have joy. But when Jesus came into my life, he filled my life with good things and he could do the same for you. Because you see, Sin makes our life empty. Sin is when we say, we're going to do our own thing, even though we know what God says is right. It's disobeying God. It's rejecting God. It's saying, God, I don't want you. I want to do it my way. And it causes our life to be empty. But Jesus came and he died and he rose again so we wouldn't have to be empty. He came so that he can give us life, his life, and he fills our life with good things. He gives us his Holy Spirit. Have you heard of the fruit of the Spirit in Galatians 5? Can you name them with me? There's love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Those things fill our life. We're filled with His life. And we're never the same. We're changed. Now, when you go out and you are going to be looking for those eggs, you're going to find them. And that reminds me how in the Bible, Jesus talks about He is the Good Shepherd. And when His sheep are lost, He goes to find them. And when one is found, all of heaven rejoices. We are his sheep, but without him, we're lost. But Jesus came and he lived here on earth as a man and he died and paid the price so that we could be found and we could find him. Now, when you find your eggs and you found your surprises, are you just gonna leave them lying on the ground? Oh, you're going to pick them up and put them in your basket and take them home. Well, God does the same for us. After Jesus finds us, he forgives us, he fills us, God puts us into his family. We are now a child of God and we are not alone. He is with us and we have a family called the church. And he puts us in his family because one day he promises he will take us home to be with him forever in heaven. We probably all know the verse John 3, 16. Can you say it with me? It says, for God so loved the world, he loved me and he loved you, that he gave his only begotten son, that means his one and only son, that whosoever would believe, would trust in him, 
would not perish but have everlasting life. That's God's promise. That's what we celebrate at Easter. And it wasn't that I had to get everything right first. Because in Romans 5 8, it says God demonstrated his love. He showed his love. Even that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. All we have to do is accept him as our Lord and Savior, to ask him to come into our life and change us. And he does. You're going to go find those great surprises in your eggs. And then are you going to come back and have to pay the price and give us money for them? No. Someone else already paid for that good, those good things. Jesus has already paid the price. And he has all the good things he wants to fill your life with. If we'll just say yes to him and invite him to come into our life and surrender our life to him and live for him. That's what Easter's about. And we can remember those things even while we hunt Easter eggs. Now I'm going to give you a quick way, just so that while you're hunting Easter eggs, you can remember the things we've talked about. Easter begins with what letter? E. And I have an E here. But if I remove this part of my E, now I have the letter F. And while we've been talking, I've shared some words that begin with an F. Let's see if you remember them. Without Jesus, I am lost. But with Jesus, I am found. Without Jesus, there's sin in my life. But with Jesus, my sin is forgiven. It's washed away. Without Jesus, my life is empty. But with Jesus, I am filled with good things. I am filled with His Spirit. Without Jesus, I'm kind of on my own. But with Jesus, I become a part of His family. And I can live with Him forever. So as you go hunt Easter eggs, remember these things. And even after today, remember Jesus wants to be a part of your life. He wants to fill you with good things. And He wants to take you home to be with Him forever. Have fun.